welcome into Talk of the Town. I'm Jessa Jeremiah. I'm filling in for Robin Zimmerman today, and you're in luck because we have a fantastic show. Lots of wonderful guests on the docket today. We're going to kick it off with one you might have long anticipated, which is an event that is coming around the bend in 2022. Of course, we're talking about the RBC Heritage presented by Boeing. This year is the 54th annual. What a milestone. Thanks for joining us today. Steve Wilmot, no, our guest on the show. Great. No, thank you again for uh, having having me and thinking of us. Well, absolutely. We would love to talk a little bit about what's going on. So the last couple of years obviously have presented some changes to the event for the reasons, of course, of uh, needing to reschedule, as you mentioned in, in 2020 on our break, we were talking a little bit. And of course, 2021 is behind us. Let's look ahead to 2022. People are excited to get back to a great event. Absolutely. Certainly the last couple of years has, has impacted us all. And certainly uh, the tournament as well. But um, we're, we're excited. We're moving forward and in, um, in planning with 22 to be back as close to to 2019, uh, you know, we did have the timeout in 20 and had a, a, a tournament without spectators. Then in 21, we had limited capacity, but our plan moving forward is we're certainly sensitive and, um, you know, monitoring where we are with things in the, in the world. Uh, but, um, but the plan is to build out as in the past, uh, sky boxes and uh, so forth. And, uh, you know, we're excited, the staff's, uh, Fired up, and so is the um, the community too. We're we're all um, certainly ready for a you know big event in April. And you know, I think that is sort of the general collective feeling is we've spent so much time really pivoting, making adjustments to you know either cancel events or try and have them with with modifications as you have done so well. Uh, but this year, you know, as we come upon something a little bit hopefully more normal and doing it safely, we've learned how to do that as well. And I think that's nice. And I'm wondering how the community is feeling about the event and, you know, really getting back to, like you said, more like 2019. What are you hearing? Yeah, getting back to the, the norm or the new abnorm wherever we are. But, uh, you know, recently met with the mayor and our uh, town manager, Mark Orlando, and, uh, you know, they're excited. You know, the support there is from the community. What can we do? Let's get going. And, uh, and what's interesting, too, just like all experiences and certainly through difficult and tough ones that we've all been faced with recently, you, you learn from those experiences and there's some things that um, in going through this pandemic that we've realized that there's things that we could have done differently we should have done differently and we are going to be doing differently moving forward and uh, um, so we're, we're excited about uh, you know working collectively together as a team uh, being the community and uh, pulling off another great event for um, you know, the, the world to see. As we know you will. Let's talk about when tickets will go on sale. How early do that does that start? Well, not as early as we like. We <laughs> were hoping to go to sales most recently, but uh, we were in some planning mode. But we are going November 18th. Is that no, right? Excuse me, October 18th, uh, <laughs> next week. Um, but the interesting thing is, uh, which is exciting, uh, it's been about a three, four year process. We will be uh, digital this year for the very first time. Well, oh, that's wonderful. And um, a part of part of it is some some things that we've gone through the last couple of years as well. And uh, it will be a big change for uh, our ticket purchasers as well as our partners. But uh, the team, the staff is uh, has taken this on along with uh, the PGA Tour and. Uh, um, it will be an interesting, different process, but we're excited to be the ease of it for our sponsors and spectators in um, being able to transfer the tickets back and forth digitally to their friends. And I mean, it, it's it's a different access um, than we've had in the past. But uh, um, but we will go live on on Monday, and we'll be sending out a an email blast here soon too to all those previous ticket holders. Um, we'll have some fun. Um, promotions leading into our ticket sales. That sounds great. Well, so, that would be right in time for the holidays. A nice uh, something to see in your stocking, if you will. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And uh, and there's a whole process with that too. We're still going to have um, you. Your ticket will be digital, um, but we will be. You will be receiving commemorative uh, 
um, a wearable during the week of the term. And so, uh, there, but there are some significant changes, but we're excited about it and it is the right direction for us to go. That's right. Your holiday inbox stocking, I yes, guess, in this yes. case. <laughs> uh, real quick, we do have to head to break, but I know we want to tease some things that are new this year. What do you have for us? Well, you know, we're actually, there's, you're going to see a lot of what was there in 2019. I mean, for us to to go through knowing what we've been through, knowing what we have gone through the last two years, we're almost, as the staff's been talking about, it's kind of a keep it simple um, again next year. We're going to. We're not going to try to do anything out of the ordinary other than have a great a great event. Um, added value is the best that we can. Our ticket prices are going back closer to where we were in 19 than last year. Um, you know, the financial model of what has happened in the last couple of years is not something we could have uh, su- could have been successful right. going forward. But uh, um, it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to be great, a, a great week. And uh, we have our concessions program that we'll get back in place to working with uh, the surge group. So there'll be some added value added uh, um, experiences there as well for spectators and bringing back our charities as in support of the concession areas as well. What's old is new again, and boy, are we glad for it. <laughs> yes, so nice to see you. Steve Wilmot again is with the 54th annual RBC Heritage presented by Boeing. We're Talk of the Town. We'll be right back.